Tonight, Waltham Forest. And I'm joined now by Jamie McGrath from the National Childbirth Trust. Thank you for coming in to talk to me. Most people would agree, especially in the NHS, that midwifery is in crisis at the moment. Is this the right time for the NCT to be championing, championing home births? Um, this has been a crisis uh, for years now, for the, the last 10 years or so, that has been a topic, the shortage of midwives. Mm -hmm. uh, the NCT has really tried to campaign and lobby government in order to try and increase the levels of midwives. Uh, but what has happened in the past, even in 2005-2006, Patricia Hewitt uh, brought this up. Uh, looked at the white paper that would increase midwife and uh, introduce real choice. And that hasn't happened, so there is, everyone agreed, a shortage of midwives. Yes. So shouldn't all that midwife manpower, to, to choose a phrase, be focused at hospitals and not at home? Uh, I think you have to give women real choice, uh, and it's up for them to choose, simply because some women will fare better giving birth at home and some women will fare better giving birth uh, uh, at the hospitals. But some might argue it's selfish to remove midwives from hospitals where many women aren't getting any midwife attention, certainly not one-to-one -one at all, to get one or two into one lady's home. At the end of the day, every woman has a right to choose where she has a baby, and it's not at all selfish, because you could say the same for women giving birth at the hospital. You could say they're being selfish giving birth in the place that they choose. Yes, there is a shortage of midwives, but this is something that needs to be addressed by the government. And every woman deserves to have their choice to have a baby where they want to have a baby. Given a hospital like Whips Cross is in this situation, and given at the moment the crisis isn't being sorted out, what's it supposed to do? All it can do is offer that service sure. and then on the day say, I'm really sorry, we can't do it today. Sure. I don't think uh, we are going to be blaming hospitals here. Mm. The problem is shortage of funding. Uh, if there was funds available to the hospitals, I am sure that they will be able to recruit more midwives and indeed retain the midwives because even the midwives that are already working are too of a stretch that some of them find that it's not practical option for them to stay employed uh, as a midwife. So I think it will come with, with the funding from the government and a real commitment to provide real choice for women. Okay, Janvi McGrath, thank you for coming in to talk to us. Thank you.